Today I like to talk about color grading in post-production. In cinematography, the power of color should never be underestimated. It has the ability to transform a scene, evoke emotions and enhance the narrative in ways that words alone cannot capture. One of the key tools in harnessing this power is the part of color grading. Through careful manipulation of color palettes, tonal ranges and a specialized software, we can create a specific visual atmosphere that captivates and immerses the audience in the story. Color grading is the process of adjusting and enhancing the colors of a film or video during post-production. Many filmmakers don't take it seriously, but it's really important because sometimes the dialogues don't have that much power to convey the, 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 the story. So color grading helps with um, visual identity and evoke specific moves and guide the audience's emotional response. And one of the fundamental aspects of color grading is the use of color palettes, which refers to carefully selected range of colors that are used consistently throughout a film to establish a certain mood or theme. And tonal ranges can play a crucial role in color grading. The tonal range refers to the distribution of brightness, levels in an image, ranging from shadows to highlights. By adjusting the tonal range, we can control the overall contrast and mood of a scene. A high contrast image with deep shadows and bright highlights can create a sense of drama and tension, while a low contrast image with soft muted tones can evoke a dreamlike or nostalgic atmosphere. The tonal range contributes to the visual storytelling by guiding the viewer's attention and emphasizing key elements within the frame. To accomplish the adjustments involving color grading, filmmakers rely on a specialized software. There are different software for color grading, such as DaVinci Resolve, I use it, Adobe, Speedgrade, and Final Cut Pro X. These tools provide us with a wide range of controls and pre uh, present um, different colors and tones and other visual elements, which helps us to manipulate the color in that scene. So through these kind of software applications, we do uh, we we can fine tune the look and feel of our footage, ensuring that each scene harmonizes with the intended uh, visual aspects of the story. I usually finish VFX, CGI, everything, and then I start with color grading, and and then I send with uh, send send the film to my music composer in order to discuss about the story. I never, I prefer to send the story in finished edited film to my composer because it helps him to get inspired and 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 I score the footage along with uh, compose a nice music related to the genre I work on. And 
beyond the technical aspects, color grading is an art form, in my opinion, that requires a deep understanding of a storytelling and visual aesthetics. Each color choice should be deliberate, serving a purpose within the narrative. For example, the use of warm tones and golden hues in a sunset scene can evoke a sense of romance, enhancing the emotional connection between the characters of the story. On the other hand, a cold blue color grade may be employed in a sequence to highlight tension and create a sense of unease, usually a use in horror story. Uh, color grading can be used in different ways, in different genres, to differentiate between different locations, time periods, or even characters within a film. When applying distinct color grading techniques to a specific scenes or characters, we can create visual contrasts and aid in a storytelling. This technique can be particularly effective in non-linear narratives or stories with multiple plot lines, as it helps the audience navigate and understand the different layers of the film. So as you can see, Color grading is a powerful tool in the hands of us filmmakers, allowing us to shape the visual atmosphere, evoke emotions, and enhance the narrative of our films. By utilizing carefully selected color palettes, manipulating to tonal ranges, and employing a good software, we and for colorists can create a cohesive visual 